coffee and questions and what's today's topic um, I had somebody email me that has a huge ranch it's up in Bakersfield and they wanted hooks for a barn for cables for horse gear and stuff like that and you know they heard about me because I'd been up to Tahoe Ranch you know and all this other stuff and met people and I gave them a couple of design ideas on things that they could do to help like in the maintenance part of this ranch or this huge barn so they turned around and emailed me and they said, hey, we want you to do it. Um, how much would you charge, you know, and how would you go about it? So I did some sketches and I went ahead and I emailed them back. And of course, they're like everybody else. They want to go the cheapest way possible. And OK, well, I still want to make a little bit of money if I'm going to be doing all the work and shipping them off. So I got out a bunch of scrap. That's what this box is. I'm going to get it out of the way and I'm going to tell you what I emailed back in terms of options and what I ended up selling them and how easy it was to do. Just a sec. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give them a selection and then they could choose and I would build my pricing from there. So I got out all my scraps playing around with all this stuff trying to come up with different ideas. Now one of them I've got these old files that a farrier used for the hoofs of you know the horses and stuff that he shoes. Now I've got an option. I could use railroad ties, which are real thick, heavy duty. I could bend them, like you see here. I could weld them on one, you know, two, and three. And I could drill holes in this for mounting. And that would look pretty cool. So that was one option that I gave them. And I told them, you can tweak any of these designs I'm giving you. Email it back, and, you know, I'll come up with something. So let's just say this was option one. Option two, of course, was I could take horseshoes and I could simply cut them in half and I could do the same thing. I could weld them on like this. Okay, and that would give them a rack and I could do two, three, four, whatever they wanted to cross to. So I could use this file. Um, so that was option two. Option three, I told them I can get some flat just plain steel just like this um, a little bit wider let me see this is let me see how wide this is okay so this is one inch wide I would go one and a half probably maybe even two inches depending on when I went out to the steel supplier I always look in the cutoff section like I was telling you but let's assume that this is a little bit wider this is the only scrap piece I had around now I could turn around and I could weld these railroad uh, spikes you know on there like this I could just weld one I could do any combination of things or I could make this piece longer and add three or four or six or eight or whatever they wanted to do and then of course coming back around I could do the same thing and I could use just these you know just the horseshoes and I could do the same exact thing so let's say that there were four options. That's what I came up with in a real quick way. I emailed them back. Now, of course, I forgot to mention something. There was an option five in the stuff that I emailed off to them, and it was like this. This was a railroad tie that I bent almost at a 90. I drilled holes through it, and then I used like a chamfer bit, and I made these little concave right here. You can see, you know, with a drill. I used my drill press. You can use a hand drill. And that way when he screws it in, the screw actually gets countersunk. Um, so this was another option. Now, they also did buy 10 of these from me. And I'll tell you about all the details and what I charged and how I went about this inside to make it worthwhile. But this was another variation. And you could do the same thing on horseshoes. You can chamfer, you know, and you can make that little concave so that when that drywall screw or metal screw, steel screw, whatever they're using goes in, that the head of it sits down flush. Not hard to do, the bits are inexpensive. So the reason for doing it this way is to keep the cost as far down as I can because, you know, even though it's a big ranch, I'm sure that they've got a lot of money. They're like everybody else. They're just looking for a cheap fix. So, I mean, I went ahead and I emailed them back and I gave them those options. Now, the one that they selected was to go with the flat steel. 
and just use horseshoes because that was the cheapest uh, cost that I gave them in terms of the bid prices. So I'm going to switch inside and I'm going to come up on the green screen. I'm going to show you what I did. This has been now probably quite a while back. I mean, and I was up there just this past week. I looked at them. I took some photographs that I'd do a video so that, you know, you can duplicate this too in your own shop. You don't need a MIG welder. You could use oxyacetylene, arc welding, whatever you want. Okay, but folks. So the rest of this is questions and answers. How much were the cost of materials? I was in the scrap bin. I bought a nice length of this flat stuff for like just a couple of bucks. So I don't know. I mean, 10, 25 cents. I don't know. And the horseshoe is a buck a piece. If you buy them from me, that's what they run a dollar a piece. You can buy them other places too, I suppose. Let's just say for the heck of it, I was into the material for a buck fifty, including what little bit of MIG wire that I used. So when they got it, somebody noticed, hey, what's that extra hole up there for? I don't know, maybe they tried to drill it again after I did, but they ended up using the holes that I drilled in it, and you can see where they actually bolted it. And so what did I sell them for? Well, I sold them for six fifty a piece. And they put in an order for 25 so I was five dollars you know is my profit we'll say in a dollar fifty in material which was kind of cheap now the only reason I agreed to do it that way is it did lead to more work because they did turn around and they bought about 20 of those railroad spikes from me that were bent and those I charged you know a, well, a decent amount more but they really liked those so those they could use inside these they used on the outside you can see here on the board so i made five bucks a piece but i was able to whip these out fast because there really wasn't any weld prepping i didn't have to do any grinding of the edges or whatever i cut these in a chop saw i drilled the holes i welded the horseshoe on and i was whipping these out i mean like lightning quick so it was all right for me and like i said it fuels my hobby any other questions uh the railroad spikes bent with the holes and the chamfering i got 850 a piece for uh what size mig wire was it? you could use 025 i was using 030 i think that's just what i had you know in the mig gun and i welded it on both sides but like it is a fast project to do and it's real handy for ranches and barns and stuff where you know it doesn't have to look super pretty I didn't have to polish them up I didn't have to finish them or nothing all they wanted me to do is cut the steel weld the horseshoe on drill the holes and ship them so it was a fast easy project how would I have cleaned them up well I would have wire brushed them I would have used an angle grinder with a four and a half inch flap disc I would have cleaned up all of the sharp edges and all that stuff got them as clean as I could wiped them down with acetone and then you can paint them with a textured paint or pretty much any kind of paint that you wanted if it was a larger project I would have used primer first but um, on these no I wouldn't have because they're gonna be outside get used abused anyway so they decided they would do any finish work that they wanted I can see where you know they painted them with some whitewash white or I don't know some color because when I shipped them to them they were still a little bit rusty and funky looking okay I'm the home handyman I hope you click subscribe I hope you like these quick tips like I said you should take a photo of either this right here that I have or make one of your own and you always keep photos with you show them around you'll be surprised people start putting in orders for stuff i hope you have a great weekend hit that notification bell you got a better way of doing this or another suggestion drop it below i'm always interested thank you folks have a great day Bye bye